Hi, I'm Jessica Buckman. I'm a student at Murray State University. This past summer, I interned with Chris Deutsch, and I'm going to talk to you about one of the product projects that we did over the summer, and that's the grain drill calibration. We did six different demos on six different farms, and we would go to the farms and help the farmers calibrate their drills and ensure that they were doing it the correct way. And some farmers may not calibrate their drills because they don't understand the importance of it. And if you don't do it, then you may be using too much seed or you may not be using enough. So this shows the steps that you would go through to calibrate your drill. And this is a chart for, that UK has made that shows you um, how many, like you look at the disco cutter spacing and then you go over here to see the seeding rate in pounds per acre. So it's a really simple chart you can use. So first of all, you're going to make sure that the seed tubes are clear using an air hose. Because if you don't do that, the seed won't go through like it's supposed to. In the last step, whenever you weigh the seed, you won't get the correct weight. And then you're going to measure the circumference of the drive wheel. And it's, there's some simple math that you'll do afterwards. You're going to take 150 feet divided by drive wheel circumference and that's gonna that number is gonna show you how many times you're gonna turn the drive wheel to get the seed to come out to weigh it. So you're just gonna disconnect the seed tubes and place plastic bags over top of them and collect the seed at what you would do in step five whenever you turn the wheel. And then in the end you're gonna weigh the seed and it may take a couple few different times just to make sure that you get the correct weight. And overall, this will help to ensure that farmers get the correct seeding rate per acre. So Jessica, once I've spun the wheel 150 feet, the equivalent of 150 feet, and I've got my seed weighed, tell me how I use the chart. Whenever you get your seed weighed in the last step, and if you're looking for 24.4 grams, and say you get 34.2, you're going to lower the drill setting to get less seed to come out. And same goes for if your weight is too low, you're going to raise the drill setting. And it needs to be within 10% of your uh, weight that you're looking for. How many times did you have to do that to get it right on farms? Sometimes we get it the first try, and sometimes we have to like redo it three or four times. How many different drills did you have to calibrate? We calibrated about six different drills. Did you get better by the end of the summer? Yes, we did get better by the end of the summer. <laughs> Excellent.